What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing something with you that I've never shared before. Not because I was trying to hide it from anyone, but I just didn't know how to address it in video form. I didn't know really how to put it into a video, so I decided just to make this video talking about it and to let you guys know what's going on. So I haven't officially been diagnosed, but after talking to my doctor a few times now, and with the symptoms that I have, it is pretty apparent that I have fibromyalgia, or fibro for short. Now, fibro is something that can get passed down from you to your kids, and I know whenever I was really young, my mother got diagnosed with fibro. It affected her a little bit differently at first. It made her physically sick. It made her severely depressed. She was losing a lot of weight. Uh, she was unable to work, and that really weighed down a lot, but... We just tried to help her out as much as possible back then. She still has fibro to this day. It's mild down a little bit, but she does have days where it flares up. So in around the 10th grade, I noticed I started to get some of the symptoms, but at the time, I didn't know it was fibro. I knew it wasn't normal. A lot of my symptoms, a lot of my pain. Never would have thought it was the same thing that my mother has. So in around the 10th grade, I started to notice my legs at times would start to become really painful. Now, almost to the point where I couldn't walk properly, it hurt to walk, my legs would be severely sore, mostly in the thigh, but also in my knee, and most of the time it was on my right leg only. A lot of times it would be my left leg or both, but most of the time it was just my right leg, so it was a little bit concerning at the time, but I never consulted a doctor because I didn't think much of it. I was just hoping it would go away, and it just, it never went away really. And whenever I was in school, I didn't really tell that many people just because those that I've told, they didn't believe it was something I actually had. I didn't know at the time it was fibro, but they didn't believe I was in pain ever just because I always took a positive approach to it. Just because I'm in pain, I didn't want others to be affected. And I know if I tell other people and they see that I'm in pain, they would either think that they have to step it up or they would have to help me out a lot. And I just didn't want to be a nuisance to anybody. I didn't want to bother anybody. So I just kind of kept it to myself. Even though I was in pain, it looked that I was normal and I was just walking fine and all this stuff. But on the inside, I was in a lot of pain. I started to notice that, like I said, in the 10th grade. But it wasn't until the late 11th grade or in the 12th grade that it started to pretty much advance and be more painful and be worse than ever. So around the time, like I said, the end of grade 11 or in grade 12, whenever I'd be at work, if I worked a, this is the part that is really confusing with me that's about fibro with me. Whenever I'd work a three hour shift, it wouldn't be bad, it wouldn't hurt. I'd come home, I'd be okay, I'd be fine. But on Saturdays, on my weekends, because I was a part-time student, I had to be forced to work an eight to 10 hour shift. And on those days, my knees hurt. By the time I got home from work, I was in so much pain. I was so sore. I just, I could barely walk. I just wanted to lay down or either go to sleep or lay down, like I said. But I was just losing my energy in that. So I started to do little exercises while at work. I would just pretty much just bend my knee uh, a couple times. Whichever one was hurting, if they were both were hurting, I'd rotate. Most of the time, like I said, it was just my right leg that would do it. So I thought it might just be blood circulation. So I tried to bend my knee, trying to get the, the blood flowing. That was my first thought back then. But for the next couple years, maybe just one or two years, it stayed at that level where if I did my exercises with my knee, I didn't really notice any pain. I didn't notice much. So I assumed it was just blood circulation or whatever. And then I noticed a couple years ago, for one day I didn't have a ride to work. And I decided I'm going to ride my bike, which I haven't done in about one year at the time. So I decided I'm going to ride my bike to work because if I walked, I would just be late. If I rode my bike, I could possibly make it there on time. So I rode my bike. But whenever I got to work, as soon as I got off, my legs were like spaghetti noodles. I couldn't put any weight on them. I couldn't walk. I was instantly on the ground. I worked in Canadian Tire, so I had to basically crawl through the auto shop, which nobody was in the shop at the time and go into the mechanic's lunchroom and pretty much sit for about 20 minutes. So I was actually 20 minutes late because I couldn't clock in, but I just couldn't walk. And I thought instantly, I'm gonna have to go home or I'm gonna have to go to the hospital or something because this is not normal. But after that 20 minutes, I was able to go back to work not fine, 
it still, my legs were still sore, but I could actually walk. I could actually put weight on them. And I haven't ridden my bike since just because I'm scared that if I get on my bike and if I stop somewhere or if all of a sudden I'm riding my bike and it happens and my legs hurt, I don't want to be on the ground and I don't want to have other people try to take care of me and try to get help on that. So I just try to avoid my bike. I don't bother riding it anymore just because I'm scared that it's going to happen again. So now a few years ago, I think it was August 2017, I actually went to my doctor about something else. I think it was my toe at the time. But I mentioned this too because he asked if there was anything else. So I mentioned this and he told me just to keep doing my exercises. I've looked up stuff on YouTube. Keep doing that. He uh, recommended Voltaren cream. I put on my legs. It started to help at first, but after a while, there was just it wasn't doing anything for me. I would be getting tired a lot, so uh, a couple months later, I went back, and it was a different doctor at the time because my doctor left, so I got a new doctor, and I mentioned to him what happened. So he said, "Keep an eye on it. Keep doing my exercises and that. It possibly is fibro because my mother has it, and fibro is something that can get passed down from you to your kids. So it's very highly." likely that all these symptoms are fibro because my mother has it and she had it severe whenever she was young and she still has it to this day so it's possible that that part got passed down to me which honestly is another reason i don't necessarily want kids of course right now i'm 22 i'm not in the position to really have kids or even think about that but when the time comes i'm gonna have to really consider this is something i could pass down to my kids and I don't necessarily want to pass it down to them if that makes any sense for you guys. It's just something I just, I'd rather not do and be at fault for doing so. I don't know, it makes sense in my mind, but it's something that affects me every single day. Some days I'm just a little bit tired. Like I said, it affects you. Uh, you, you get tired on some days. Some days are fine. Some days I can get a lot done. Some days I can't get much done at all. Some days it doesn't bother me on day's end, but some days it will bother me for like three days straight or more, but it all depends. It's not a routine. It's not something that always happens. My mother, it affects her different in the mornings. She's in a lot of pain in the mornings and throughout the day with pain medication and that, she starts to feel a little bit better. But for me, it's just honestly random. Some days I'm in severe pain. Some days I'm fine. Some days I put cream. Some days I have to have uh, an Advil or something like that and some days I don't need to take anything because there's no pain so it's really random mine but the doctors haven't officially diagnosed me just because there's a lot of tests involved in that and but by seeing me at the the couple times that they have now they are almost certain to bet that I have fibro and it's honestly sucks being 22 and not being able to ride your bike um, I'm fine whenever I go out for walks but riding a bike, if I can't do that now, I'm 22. That is one of the scariest things for me. It is something I struggle with. It was something I thought was worth sharing with you guys so you guys can understand a little bit more. Now, fibro is something I think here in Canada you can go and be on disability for and get paid by the government because you have this disease. But the problem with that is I don't necessarily want to be on disability. I don't have anything against those that use disability appropriately. But if I'm able to, at times, be able to work, and that is my main goal, I love to work for what I have, I don't necessarily want to be on disability. So unless this advances even more, and it comes to the point when I can barely walk without being in pain, then in the future, I might consider it. But right now, I'm 22 years old, going to be 23 very soon. There's no point in me going on disability because that's just going to add to my depression and that's going to really bother that. So I don't want to do that. I want to work for my life. I want to work. I'd love to do YouTube more, but I'm a worker. I love to work and that is my main goal right now is to just continue to work, work on my goals, work on myself. Uh, I'm going to try hopefully soon get into not necessarily a gym, but get some stuff in the house that I can actually work out with. Instead of just doing these mild exercises, maybe if I did more, ran on the treadmill or whatnot, it might help out a little bit more. But this is pretty much just me going on about fibro. This is how I go through it. This is kind of how I deal with it, uh, different things like that. So I am going to leave this video here. Sorry if you guys feel offended because I've never shared it with you guys before. I just didn't know really how to or how to put it in video form. So I decided just to make this style of video. 
But I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you have any questions about fibro, leave them down below. I will answer as much as I can. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.